Here's the kicker. You know what's crazy about lying? Half the battle with lying is you're trying to avoid conflict. Yes. Okay? You're trying to avoid conflict or you're trying to avoid uh, 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 embarrassment or you want to look cooler, you know? You know, the whole thing where guys will say they've been with three times the girls they've been with and girls will say three times less than the guys they've really been. You ever heard that uh, story before? Scientists have done extensive research on this. So don't call me out and say Pat had a, you know, moment where he's calling out women. But why do men say three times? Because they want to be three times cooler. Why do women say three times less? Because they want to be embarrassed less, right? To say, well, I haven't really gone and pulled run as much as I have. Okay. So that's not going away, just so you know that. Now, there's a difference between that and lies like that, or you have a commitment to hit, you don't hit it. That's a problem, okay? That's a problem. There's a difference between that and, you know, uh, a compliance lie. You can, you can take a company down with a compliance lie. There's a difference between that and, but I call out the behavior because I don't tolerate the behavior. I don't tolerate manipulative behavior. I don't tolerate games. And I don't tolerate anything that's going to hurt the company and bring others down. So the more you talk about it, sometimes the challenge, uh, uh, Simon, is your values and principles to the field or your employees or your executive team is not clear. If they don't know your set of values and principles and you don't talk about it over and over and over and over and over and over again, then they don't know what your expectations are, right? They're kind of like, I don't know what it takes to make Simon happy. I don't know what's a good employee. I don't know what's a good partner. I don't know what's a good executive. I don't know what's a good investor because you've never had those values and principles. So how do you do that? Well, you take a piece of paper and a Sunday afternoon or Saturday afternoon, and you sit down and say, what are the best employees I've ever had? Make a list of what made them the best. What do you love most about Johnny, Jackie, Larry, Mary? And then who were the employees or what kind of behavior hurt the company the most and what set back the company the most? Okay. What were those behaviors? Which one of those behaviors will you not tolerate? Great. Then guess what? Go tell the stories without giving specific names. Go tell the stories. Then I'm going to sit there and I'm going to say, Ooh, I do that sometimes. Okay, I got to work on that. Oh, I do that sometimes. He likes that. Awesome. I got a shot here. Oh, phenomenal. He loves that. That's me. He's talking about me. I don't think this company is for me. I got to go. It's okay. It's okay. But you got to share your values and principles. I read a book uh, a few months ago called No Rules Rules. And I had every one of my employees read the book No Rules Rules. And I had them read what measure what matters. And after everybody read No Rules Rules, we kind of sat down and we went through the process of what everybody was saying, what I was saying, kind of figured out some people just don't belong here in the culture. And I'm not changing. I'm not changing. Because if I have to conform to you, I never had a real culture. I didn't take time to really process what my culture was. The moment you do that, then they'll know what to respond to. But if they don't and you keep it a secret, no one knows what's bothering and what's not. And by the way, if I lose safe around you and you want me to be around with you long term, if you don't allow me to save face, I will leave you because you offended me. So you, you also got to make sure you're not, you know, hey, papa, ta, papa. You know, you're not coming out just like, I don't care what happens. You know, no, you don't want to do that. You got to let me save face because I'm going to make more mistakes. You know, if I don't have that opportunity for people to save face, sometimes you need a crisis to get, create even more loyalty with your employees. I don't know if this makes sense. Sometimes you need a problem where we overcome together. Then the team's like this. That's why so many people, when they go to war together, their level of bond is the kind that they'll never have with their wives or husbands or, you know, kids. It's different. We went to war together. We almost died together. We were so annoyed with each other because somebody screwed up, but we overcame that. And we came back safe and we saved lives. You have to give that opportunity for people as well. Work on yourself on a leader. Make a note of what you won't tolerate, what you like, what's been quality as your best employees. Give that message to your guys. Then go talk to that person, help them save face and help them save their ego and then challenge them to improve and then go about your business. So you just got a sneak little peek from an episode that I did in this video. If you want to see the full episode, click over here to watch the entire episode. And if you've not subscribed to this channel, please do so. Take care, everybody.